Hi, I'm Jennifer with Martingale, here to share with you a trunk show from the Moda Bake Shop. Did someone say cake? You're going to be saying, get me some layer cakes as soon as you see this trunk show of quilts. What's a layer cake? Well, it's a collection of 42 10 inch squares from Moda Fabrics. They come in little bundles just like this and you get a selection of all the prints from that collection of fabric. So it's a delightful way for you to get a piece of every fabric in a collection. And it's a big enough piece that you can do almost limitless things with it. If you like to applique, it's big. If you like to cut bigger pieces for blocks or setting triangles, you can do it. So I'm gonna share with you the quilts from the fabulous Moda Bake Shop designers. So first up is from designer Amanda Wilbert and her quilt is called Spice Cake. Beautiful. And the block in here you can see at the top corner with this uh, is here. But Amanda added a little bit of sashing and these setting stones so that she could get a secondary design where the blocks came together. And that is where this piece comes in. So all made from a layer cake, spice cake, by Amanda Wilbert. Next up we have a quilt that maybe you would like to try your hand at a little bit of curved piecing. This is Beaded Bracelets by Audrey Mann and Diane Britton. And they are a mother-daughter team uh, that do patterns under the name Cloth Parcel. Um, and they created this really gentle curves. There's just two pieces in each block, but an easy way for you to practice. And they've got tons of tips in there if you haven't done a lot of curve piecing for ways that you can have success. Um, so don't be afraid of curve piecing. This next quilt is by Michelle Coons, and it is called open here jewel diamonds and it again is a way to make this on point square sort of she calls them diamonds jewel diamonds out of jewel tones it uses a batik's uh, print to make them and got sort of an asymmetrical design to it overall and a lovely solid white background Jen Daly, who you might be familiar with, did this beauty called Garden Gate. And it's got gorgeous mix of spring greens and corals and a cream print. Um, you probably can't see it, but just a little small dot print as the background overall. And she's used every bit of that layer cake to even add a pieced border around the outside. That's Garden Gate. This one, you'll have to read in the book, did someone say cake? Uh, about why Lisa Jo Girdot named this quilt Cartwheels and Round Offs. And it's got the pinwheel block in it. I believe it uses the Flowers for Freya collection uh, that Lindsay Cole McRae designed, but a gorgeous mix of blocks and gymnastics play an important part in Lisa Joe's family and she named it Cartwheels and Round Offs and has a really fun story that she shares. Next up by Sharla Krenzel is a quilt called Dana and you might recognize this from the cover of the book. Three things that uh, Sharla loves are stars, plaids, and chains, Irish chains. So she's mixed all three of them into this quilt called Dana. I love that it has this little uh, striped binding on it and it's a uh, diagonal stripe so that it gets cut and uh, put on straight, but it looks like it was cut on the diagonal. Next up, Blossom by Nicola Dodd. And you'll see these sweet little honeybees and a mix of flowers. And you never really guess that this was made from a layer cake, but it was in fact, and a super cute wall hanging or a little smaller 
Uh, you could use it as a table topper too. Jessica Dayon got her 1930s mix on with her quilt, Cottage Garden. And I love everything that's going on. She has the X blocks or the plus signs uh, in the center. She's got these adorable little lollipop flowers and a couple of borders she's added to the edge. It's got a mix of prints in the backgrounds uh, so that you don't have to have all one and you can use the lights that come in your layer cake back as well. Uh, so super cute. Now layer cakes don't always have to be prints. Uh, Moda also offers solids in layer cakes. So this quote by Lauren Elizabeth Terry, I have upside down, is called Mountaintop. And she took two of the solid layer cakes in a deep blue and white, but you could also make this from any mix of prints and really uh, add some different kind of sparkle to it. But this was her Mountaintop using just two layer cakes and a very geometric finished quilt. Battenberg by Julie Hurt. You'll have to read in the book how she came about naming this quilt. Here's a hint, it's named after a British cake uh, that has sort of a checkerboard to it. So the British Battenberg cake uh, inspired her Battenberg quilt very fun. Field and Flock is another quilt from Christine Weld. Using a couple of favorite motifs for quilters, flying geese, and then I believe it's a, uh, looks like 20 patch or nine, a variation on a nine patch. Not exactly sure where the sashing is on this, but a fabulous quilt of both of those shapes coming together and a great solid um, gray background. And last but not least, from Susan Vaughn, is a book, or is a uh, block that's a variation of the Friendship Star, and it's called Friends Forever. So she's taken the classic Friendship Star, and I see I've got it upside down because some of them have a heart in them. Let's see if I can find one to show you here in the center of this one. It has a little green heart shape in the center. Some have checkerboards, some have pinwheels, and this would be great to do as an exchange with friends if you didn't want to make them all by yourself. You wanted to perfect your artistry in one. So all of these patterns are available in Moda Bake Shops did Someone Say Cake? A great book for you to use for layer cake lovers. If you love layer cakes but are looking for patterns for them, all of these patterns are included. You can find Moda Bake Shop, Did Someone Say Cake, wherever you buy books or at shopmartingale.com.